What if you woke up tomorrow and you couldn't poop? What if you never pooped again? In this video, we'll go through the toll not pooping can have on your body, the reasons you might become poop averse, and what you can do to get pooping once again. A little while ago, we told you what would happen if you weren't able to pee for a while, and unsurprisingly, there are a lot of similarities between pee and poo. Like peeing, pooping is a necessary process to eliminate waste and toxins from the human body. And like peeing, there are serious complications that arise if you decide to stop pooping altogether. It takes your body just under 53 hours to process food from mouth to butt, with 40 of those hours taking place in the lower intestine, or your colon. While everybody poops, we are each the master of our own destiny, and therefore we live according to our own poop schedule. A normal poop schedule can range from as much as three times a day to once every other day, although people tend to poop at the same times every single day. If you're not pooping regularly, chances are you're constipated. Constipation, as defined by doctors, a occurs when you poop two or fewer times per week. Although it's a relatively common condition, it should really be treated promptly, as the problem can compound quickly, with poop backing up further into your intestines and making you feel sick. Occasionally holding your poo isn't really that big of a deal, but the longer you wait, the worse things can get. As poop sits in your colon, it absorbs water, making it bigger and harder and ultimately more difficult to pass, and possibly leading to colon damage. While it's possible that you can go a long time without pooping, things can definitely get quite uncomfortable. Bloating, nausea, and stomach pain are just a few of the symptoms you'd have to deal with. And those aren't even the worst. Not pooping doesn't just affect your digestive system. It can impact your entire body. A few examples of this are fecal impaction. If your stool compacts too much and becomes hard, it may require medical assistance to be removed. Bowel perforation. If your stool backs up into your intestines, it can put too much pressure on them and literally rip through, spilling poop into your abdominal cavity. This can be life-threatening due to the unsanitary nature of poop and the bacteria that lives inside of it. Cardiovascular risks. Chronic constipation can increase stress and elevate blood pressure throughout your body so much, it actually causes heart problems. But those still aren't even the worst. Oh no, far from it. You want to hear the worst thing that can happen if you stop pooping? Are you sure? Okay, fine, but you may want to sit down for this. If you stop pooping and the stool keeps compacting and backing up into your system, it's possible you could literally start throwing up poop from your mouth. Like you're a redheaded second year wizard whose wand backfired whilst telling a xenophobic Slytherin to eat poop. And yes, that was a deep Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets reference. And sometimes you can even pass away, in the case of a young woman from the UK who passed away after eight weeks of constipation, during which her intestines grew so big they literally pushed on her organs and gave her a heart attack. But honestly, some of us may choose a heart attack over throwing up poop. There are some things you just can't quite recover from, you know? Aside from waking up with no butt, there are a couple of reasons you might want to stop pooping entirely. Diet, lack of exercise, stress, irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, and some medicines can keep you from enjoying a healthy, regular bowel movement. There are also mental diseases such as functional fecal retention syndrome, a condition mainly found in children who are scared to poop. In fact, the world record for not pooping may belong to a 13-year-old whose functional fecal retention syndrome prevented them from pooping for a year. That said, if you suppress your need to poop for a long time, it can be difficult to stimulate your colon to work again. So if your colon is stopped and you'd like to restart it, step number one to get it started is to drink more water, which is the solution to really most of life's problems. Your poop will absorb the water, stimulating the bowels to get moving again. Next, you should exercise, which is also another solution to most of life's problems. Movement generally massages the bowels, and you don't even have to do any risky exercises like squats. A simple brisk walk after supper can do the trick. Finally, reducing dairy intake, eating more fibrous fruit and vegetables, and cutting out processed foods can do wonders for your ability to poop cleanly. And again, these are generally tips for living a healthy life in many other regards. So there you have it. While the consequences of not pooping can be devastating, luckily the cures are extremely accessible and easy to come by. In a worst case scenario, you can buy some laxatives at your local pharmacy and get the engine revved up that way. A handful of people are born with a condition where they literally don't have a functioning butt. Without a butt, the only way to poop is with the help of a colostomy bag, which involves surgically attaching a bag to your intestines through your abdomen. It's a relatively straightforward procedure, and your quality of life won't really decrease at all, so don't worry. The important thing is that you are able to pass your waste products. After all, in the immortal words of gastroenterologist Ian Lustbader of NYU, birds gotta fly, fish gotta swim, and colon's gotta poop.
That's all for today, and thanks again for tuning in. If you're a fan of fecal facts and toilet humor, make sure you like, subscribe, and head over to the Brainiac YouTube channel where you can find other videos like this and many more. See you later, Brainiacs.